Hello beautiful and handsome Libras and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a hummingbird tarot and I'm going to be channeling a message from your guides, spirit, the universe for what's going on in your November. But know that this is a timeless reading so whenever you land here you this message is meant for you. Okay so we're going to start with let's see I'm going to start with an animal spirit for you guys. All right, spirit, please give me an animal spirit for Libra for this month in November. Right now, whenever they're landing here. Wow, that sure leapt out. <laughs> wow, and you have the unicorn. Amazing animal. And I just want to say that this mystical creature, this energy that you, Libra that you have or that you're going through right now is this um, energy of questioning um, what spirituality you really believe in right now. Um, because with the unicorn, we, we all like, we hope that it was once an animal that really existed. Do we believe that? Um, do we believe in the unicorn? And why is the unicorn such a mystical and fascinating creature for us in our, in our world? Well, it, this energy is pointing to, um, Libra, your third eye chakra and opening up your intuition and your ability to see what is the truth for you as far as your spirituality, as far as your spiritual practices. The unicorn is about that um, venture into the unknown and finding your truth within that unknown. And so this is a real time of introspection here for you with the unicorn energy and I'm just a, a beautiful journey into discovering what truly works for you um, and your spiritual practices, whatever that might be. So let's get some more information on this unicorn spiritual journey that you are going through right now, Libra. What a beautiful card. What else for Libra? Okay, and we have the Six of Pentacles and Balance. We have the Ten of Swords. The Four of Cups. Wow, cards are just spilling out all over the place for you here, Libra. King of Swords. Anything else? And the Ten of Wands. Okay. So... You have been going through perhaps this a difficult time. The Six of Pentacles is about kind of this dharma coming back to you. Like you fulfilled this karma, this karmic energy in your life. And you see the two hearts here being weighed. Um, so this karmic, this karmic cycle that has led you to feeling like you've been beat up, um, you know, you've been you've been chased by your fears here and sometimes it felt like they had overtaken you their fears your worries not being able to surrender things that aren't serving you um, really made you feel like you had been crushed by it like it was too all-consuming but you have come out of this phase like I said you have fulfilled these karmic things in your past and now it, you're making room for this Dharma for things to come back to you now in a more positive way spirit really wants you to be aware have have gratitude um and know that blessings are being handed to you now don't turn your back to the blessings the spirit is handing you in your life um, you're cutting through a lot of things that have been unclear here with the king of swords um, so you're cutting through that um shadowy and dark aspect of not really being clear about what your path your path is also you are working through a lot of past assumptions about yourself or others in your life that had um you know put you into um this energy of being stereotypical and maybe judging people in those ways 
but now you're kind of falling away from it. You're having clarity. You're, you're challenging those assumptions that you once held close to your heart and now are being more open and fluid and you're seeing more clarity about how um, we are more alike um, then we are different really when it comes down to everything and perhaps this is also with the unicorn is challenging those assumptions about your own spirituality here challenging the um, the old way of seeing things and you're having that clarity here um, you've been carrying the burdens of others right now on your back um, you may have had some times where you were feeling a, a little bit uh, um, angry at people, some, uh, some anger toward people for not carrying their own weight. Uh, also, just that feeling that you are having this, this a hard time perhaps. I'm not seeing boundaries here. Boundaries isn't quite the right word I'm looking for, but you know, you, you've really, you've taken on probably more than you want to take on by saying yes more often than, uh, than you would like to, which is um, bringing this energy of resentment I'm feeling but you're clearing all of this out here now. You're challenging those old assumptions. And with these two tens here, the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, I feel like you're closing out that chapter here. Hence the balance of the hearts here with the Six of Pentacles. Um, you're balancing out your karma, like I said, and bringing in more energy of what you have given out into the world is now coming back to you. Um, that energy is balancing out. Like, remember, just stay focused on the blessings in your life during this hard time. Um, if you're not fully through with these cycles of fear um, and worry and burdens in your life, things are going to get easier here. If you're focusing on the blessings, focusing on that dharma, closing out um, old ways of thinking, old ways of, um, old fears, toxic relationships, you know, that are pulling your energy from you instead of giving you energy to move forward. Um, beautiful Libra. I was almost going to call you beautiful, uh, and handsome unicorns <laughs> because you really are. You've gone on this journey and it's been a difficult journey for some of you, but you are really starting to understand what you now believe about yourself, about your spirituality, and how you're going to move forward in these new belief structures that you have formed for yourself and receiving the good karma, the dharma that you have been, um, the, the goodness that you have been putting out into the world and feeling kind of lackful and not getting that back. But those things are coming back to you now. Okay. And so with that, let's get into some relationships. What's going on? Oh, wow. That came out quickly. Um, I got a little hair. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. So that came out really quickly for you. The cards are flying today for you, Libra. Emotions are a nat natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Yes, and wasn't I saying that I was feeling like there was some resentment going on here? So, yeah, just, uh, I'm, gosh, I'm feeling like a, a emperor energy here or this the strong setting of boundaries or the nine of wands. Here we go. And so there's this healing energy um, happening for you within your emotional center where you're not, you're coming into balance with your emotions and they're not going to cloud your vision anymore because with the King of Swords here, this is, you're becoming more clear. Is there any other cards here for love for my beautiful and handsome Libras? No, but we may have one here. So let's get an, let's get one of these. What else for relationships for Libras? Unrequited love. 
So there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So what is that for you? Um, what is that for you, Libra? What is unrequited in your relationship? Now, if there's somebody that is just giving you breadcrumbs that are that's not being uh, recipro is not reciprocating your love right now, this is somebody that you need to let go of. Um, perhaps this is you in a relationship as well, you know, where you're just not, you're, you've been working really hard this relationship and things are just not lining up for you. Um, and this is something that is, needs to be cleared out. And this could be any sort of relationship. I don't feel like this is a, only about love. This is just, um, any people in your life right now that are not reciprocating, um, the energy that you give to them, you know, that, uh, you know, they're kind of more takers than givers. And so this is about, about that, about getting out of those burdensome relationships here. So let's put that up over here. Cause I really feel like that's what spirit is saying with that card. So what else for love for Libra? And this could be also just for any relationships in your life, platonic, um, work-related relationships, something that's really affecting your life right now. So we have temperance. There's healing going on and more balance. Nine of swords. Okay, so there's a lot of fears. There's a lot of anxiety going on here for you, Libra. Um, but spirit is just saying that clearing, clearing any negativity, um, like I said, focusing on the things and the blessings in your life right now and being, having gratitude for that is going to help you get out of these kind of fears. This is fears, anxiety, things that are keeping you up at night, worries that a relationship isn't going the way that you want it to go. Four of Pentacles. There's this little bit of a stuck energy. Knight of Wands. Wow, that just really landed right there. Okay, so Libra, there's a little bit um, of of ego standing in the way here with the four of pentacles and five of cups and there's there's some sort of ego uh dynamic here that is clashing um because we have this knight of wands energy here and this is you know he's he's all about freedom and not really wanting to commit. Um, so this could be for you, for any, if, it, if this is a male, female, whatever this is, there's somebody here in your life that is not really willing to commit. Um, he's, or she is in this energy of, um, just wanting their own freedom, looking for their own path, not really sure where they need to be right now. Um, this could be at play here with this unrequited love as well for my Libra. So the fears and anxieties that you're having um, are many with the five of cups and the nine of swords. Um, so, but you're focusing on perhaps the negative, but there are positive aspects here. Um, if this is somebody that you're really um, attached to, yet you're there, you're, they're just giving you these crumbs of love and not really, you know, reciprocating things in the way that um, that you are looking toward. Just know that um, there are some blessings about this. There are perhaps some lessons to be learned. Um, so just try, Libras, to focus on the positive, focus on what you are getting out of the relationship versus what you're, what you're not getting out of the relationship. Way balance those. There's a lot of healing here. Um, self-care, self-love. Um, there's a little bit of this energy, uh, this a little stuck energy here as well 
with the four of pentacles um somebody either it's you or your person is focused more on their material um the material aspects of their life and identifying more in the material three-dimensional kind of aspects of life where they're kind of blocking their third eye chakra their Block, blocking themselves from spirituality also they're blocking their heart they're also blocking their their um groundedness to the earth here with uh they they kind of identify with the things that they have material things that they have here so um this this is a this is a difficult situation here for you i'm feeling in relationships but here with the temperance being that your major arcana here, spirit really wants you to heal and balance that out. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Unconditional love for yourself is going to bring in the right sort of loving relationships into your life. And keeping yourself out of negative thought patterns here, beating yourself up, feeling that you're not good enough, not worthy, um, looking at all the negative things in your life. Really, it's a time of gratitude and accepting the blessings coming in. Um, this might be a hard transition you're going through in relationships. And, you know, you're really just focusing on how you are at a lack lacking right now but um spirit is put this relationship in your way here to help you learn some sort of a lesson and help you heal old karmic patterns perhaps i'm seeing here that you're closing out so this change is always difficult but um know that this is being cleared out of your life now this particular relationship that you might have in mind is being cleared out of your life to bring in something more beautiful and aligned with your spirit so know that trust in that surrender the old ways of being um, surrender resentment um, and use your emotions to help you heal and get bring in the unconditional love and the self-care that you need right now. And that not might not be for all of you, but there is this aspect of worry and negative thought patterns here in some relationship for you, Libra. And since this is a general reading, you know, it could be different for everyone. Now, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just, uh, I have my email in the description box below if you're interested. I have really reasonable rates and um, it's just so much better to, um, to get a personal reading in this kind of uh, aspect. Okay, so it looks like you have two solar plexus here um, cards coming out. We have the 15 with self-mastery or six and then 16 with determination so 15 16 and or six and seven for angel numbers um i'm just feeling like um this is a time to really dive into your own personal power and if you're a female coming here to this reading i'm feeling like there is perhaps an imbalance in your feminine masculine energy and spirit really wants you to know and develop that masculine energy within you knowing that you are strong that with determination and self-mastery and coming into balance with your emotions um within your in yourself knowing that you can you don't need a, a man in your life to help you do certain aspects or do certain things in your life that you are whole within yourself first and when you are whole within yourself first and that is when you bring in these amazing new connections into your life these soul connections um, because you're vibrating higher and you are trusting yourself so getting a hold of emotions your emotions and really truly understanding them and mastering them and use that determination of will to move you through that determination of loving yourself determination to know that you don't need a single other person in your life 
And also, if this is for a masculine, the spirit is saying just really get strong within yourself. You don't need a woman in your life. You know, just like the same that um, you're, you have plenty of creative energy, Libra, Libra guys. You have that that mass that that feminine aspect of yourself um, is is working correctly, um, and maybe you uh, you're really trying to seek your own inner strength right now to move you through. And and this is not saying that you're effeminate or anything like that. It's just saying here that there's something in your life that you need to take control of. Be determined to master yourself, to better understand the reasons why you do certain things. So you're given you're being given this strength and this opportunity to balance this masculine feminine energy here i'm feeling with this double solar plexus energy okay so let's get some more information about this double solar plus plexus energy let me scoot these over just a tad okay and it is this progression. I'm feeling that. And that you're really going through this right now. What else for Libra? And their personal power. Like I said, I felt like that emperor energy. King of Pentacles, which is very apropos too. Okay, Judgment. Two of Swords will come out reverse. I'm going to keep that. I don't really do reversals, but I'm just going to keep that in mind as I get more cards. Wow. Okay. Again, here, there's this, this, there's balance going on in your life here with the King of Pentacles coming up. You know, the things that have been challenging to you are. Um, and, and pushing you to this place of excellence in your life. This is success here. You're going to have success. Be determined. Keep working on this self-mastery and this determination. You will have success. Um, but also with the King of Pentacles energy, he's, you know, he's failed. He's persistent. He keeps trying. And because he's persistent and keeps trying, even though it gets difficult, um, because he is persistent, because he has determination, he will inevitably be successful. There is this Aries energy here for you, Libra. I don't know, you might have that in your chart. Um, also, we are going through um, this Taurus right now, this eclipse, Taurus eclipse. Um, I'm not quite sure. I don't know a lot about it. But I know this is a big shift in a lot of people's um, area of money. And I'm seeing these pentacles here um, shifting our ideas about the way that we use our money, our um, mentality about money here uh, as well with the four of pentacles, even though that's more of a relationship card. But I am seeing here that the fruits of your labors you're awakening to that. The fruits of your labors are coming into harvest now. Um, the persistence that you've had, the determination, this um, will to, to bring things into reality is really coming into play. You've been awakened out of a time that you've been perhaps in kind of a stupor or feeling like you weren't producing, you are awakening again and things are coming back into your vision and, um, of your creative force and your energy to create something here is coming back alive. Um, with the two of swords here um, being in reverse, I'm feeling like you're coming out of this, this place where you felt that you know, you were at a crossroads and you weren't quite sure which way to go. And so with that coming out reversed, I'm feeling like you're feel, you under, you're understanding or knowing the, the right road to take right now. Um, it is a, yeah, definitely. 
because this judgment card, it's time to step out of this limbo state that you may have been feeling that you've been in lately. Um, and start moving again. The two of swords reversed usually appears after a time of incubation, a time spent making peace with yourself. Um, it's a card of precarious balances between the needs of the world and the needs of yourself. So this card is always a reminder that we are all in a perpetual state of the in-between. Once you've found peace with yourself, it's time to engage with the world here. So after a lot of stillness, it's a time to move forward. And yes, you are harvesting um, abundance here. The, this thing is coming into fruition. It just still needs a little bit of patience and practicing being in the present moment here. And inevitably, we have the sun here. So keep on this good path, Libra, because you ha you're having so much happiness. Stay out of negative thought patterns. Don't, don't succumb to your fears. Surrender um, the past. Move away. You're, you're moving out of this more painful cycle. So the way that you really embrace that is be grateful. Be open. Look for the blessings in your life. Don't focus on the things that, of the past that have fallen away here. Um, and things that are keeping you up at night, just start working on a meditation practice, doing that self-care, doing whatever you need to do to really unconditionally love yourself, the good aspects, the bad aspects of yourself. Acknowledge them. Acknowledge where you have gone and where you are coming to now. Um, it's a really a time of being strongly aware of why we do the things we do, why you are feeling depressed, why you are feeling fearful, and really just taking the time to examine that within ourselves. Because truly, you are coming into great happiness. Continue working on your self-mastery, mastering your emotions, not letting others um, trigger you anymore. You're coming into a time of power and light. Volcanoes are really just, and we have the number nine here, volcanoes destroy, yet they set the ground up for new uh, rebirthing. Um, so it's a powerful time of change in your life. Um, old grudges in your life should be released now and let go. Heavy energy, let it go. Um, if we hold on to it too long, it can really affect us and keep us from manifesting what we really need to manifest. Allow any anger inside of you to flow through you rather than saving it up and exploding it out. Just let it flow through you, acknowledge it, and let it go. Um, you can't, you know, change anybody. You can't um, push things. It's just you have to let the flow of it happen to regenerate. Um, and it's going to reform um, the way that you are manifesting the reform your whole life into this beautiful sun type energy here the greatest powers are hidden from view your greatest powers might be hidden from view but you are in a journey to really find that within yourself here with the unicorn so have you have the power to create your or destroy your future and so really work on letting the that anything that is resentment or negative or heavy energy just let it flow out of you um, because you can create so much happiness happiness and abundance for yourself if you can master the those heavier energies within you libra and take that quest find your power beautiful libras
Wishing you so much love and light. If this reading resonated for you, please like and subscribe because when you subscribe, I can tap into your energy and give you better and more profound readings in the future. Okay, I'm sending you lots of love. Bye-bye.